Hi there and welcome to the video. So today I'm going to be looking at this image, which is something I've just downloaded. The link is in the description box for you to follow along if you like. And what I like about this shot is the simplicity of the uh, composition with the colours as well. These lines really draw your eye into the cyclist and the colour red obviously plays a big part. So I'm just going to duplicate the background layer, Command or Control J. As always with these type of general edit videos that I'm doing now, it's completely unrehearsed, so this is all real time. I'm just going through my initial thought processes on exactly what I'm going to be editing. So the first thing that I see is a lot of like scratches and dirt on the road. So I'm just going to clean these and you can use whatever tool you, you fancy to do these. We can use the patch tool as I'm trying here. I'm just getting rid of these. I don't know if there's just dirt or patches of oil on the floor. Don't have to go crazy because it is a road. Uh, it's going to have signs of use, but we just want to get rid of the most distracting elements. You'll find this is something I mention a lot on these videos is just try to get some of the bigger distractions out of the way first. And if you're unsure, zoom out. Just make sure there's nothing too bad catching your eye. Again, it's not a beauty portrait image. You don't have to go crazy on this. So that to me will be sufficient for an initial cleanup. Now I'm going to check at this point, what do I actually want to do from this image? So I'd like to strengthen the reds on the floor, the red lines. I'd just like to increase the boldness of those. So it's not quite matching his clothes, but get in there. And then I may try and change the color of his bike frame as well, just because I'm not sure that green is really, is really benefiting the image. Let's think about how we'd um, strengthen these, these red lines. Now, there are many ways you can target individual colors. You can do the hue saturation, and then we can choose red, and then we can maybe bump up the saturation, and that works quite well. And then we just have to do mask it out, brush it out around the, around the cyclist, otherwise it's gonna make him go overly saturated as well, because he's got red in his skin and obviously on his clothes. That's a very valid way. There's another way we can do it, which you can go to select, color rain and then you can just click on the color click on an example of the red and then you can play with this fuzziness slider here until you see most of the areas in white that you want to actually affect and that's the benefit of doing it this way is it will then give you a layer mask it will put it a live selection layer mask so then if you wanted to put another adjustment on like curves in this case with the red channel you can then change the color of red, but you've also got a layer mask you can then work with and refine later. So if you wanted to, I'm just going to do this for now. So from that selection, I just, the selection was live. So I just clicked the curves adjustment layer and it turned that selection that we'd just created previously into a layer mask for this curve. The channel has changed to red. So I can now affect just the red tones with the curve using the layer mask I've created. I hope that makes sense. So I'm just going to boost that up a tiny little bit and I'm just going to go down here and press B for my brush tool and make sure the foreground color is black. And I'm just going to manually just brush over any areas of the um, cyclist that seem to be affected by the extra saturation. With small subjects, I often find that just brushing it by hand like this is as it, it is accurate enough so that you don't spend ages doing like a pen tool path or something with such a small object, just get your, just get the brush on the layer mask. So there we go. So that's the before and that's the after. So I've really made that those red lines pop. Now you could go in up and tidy these up as well, clean some of the, the marks from this red area, but I'm not going to with the exception of this line here down the middle. It's just bothering me for some reason. So let's, let's use a different tool to, let's use the healing brush tool. So hold down the alt key, click in an area that you want to choose. And then you can just paint down with that. And we can just not look back. You can just use the oops in fact, just checking. I don't just stand why stand why it's picking up or it's not. And there's almost like some slight transparency on that I'm associated with that, which there shouldn't be. But anyway, oh yeah, it's cause see that's, it's always worth checking a layer mask. So even though we've cleaned that layer underneath, let me turn the curves adjustment. So it's the importance of, I think it's the importance of me doing things unrehearsed now because it shows you the kind of mistakes that you can make easily and then how to, how to look out for them. So that dark line is now being caused 
by line that was on the original on the original layer mask here. So if I just get white as my foreground color now, and if I if you alt click on the layer mask, sorry, that's how I'm getting into this preview. If you alt hold down the alt key and click on the layer mask, you will get this. Um, you'll get this black and white preview. So anything that's white is that's being affected. Anything that's black is not. And so there's an obvious red line down here. Um, sorry, a black line down here. So with white as my foreground color on the layer mask, I'm just going to brush that down to get rid of that. Get rid of that line on here. Okay, so that's that done. Okay, after, again, nothing too big on this, just a general little edit. Now the color of his bicycle frame, I'm, I am gonna keep it green, actually. I do like the green, and I'm gonna just crop this now. Recrop this. So click on the crop tool. You can change the, you can change the aspect ratio to something specific if you like and then it's fixed, or you can just have it on the free mode and it'll let you recrop it. So I'm just going to take this in a little bit. I'm going to put the cyclist right on this horizontal line here. And now, for my personal tastes, I'm happy with that image now.